Well, one of the worst hit areas was Grundy County. That's where we find Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell, who has a look at the damage there. And Tanisha, what are you seeing there today? Latrice, lots of debris left on the road here on Highway 56, where a lot of that damage occurred. And I want to show you really quick. I'm going to pan over at the photographer Hunter. This is one of a, a power pole that was uh, that fell over and actually split in half. As you see here, a lot of the remaining uh, parts are just scattered around in this area here. So it's a mess. This is what crews have been uh, repairing for hours now, actually since the wee hours uh, early uh, this morning. Now, I'm going to pan over here again. Again, you see down here on the floor, uh, trees, debris. I mean, this is all from chopped trees that have been cleared earlier um, in the day. But here's a, the evidence of that. This is this is a neighbor's yard, a homeowner here again on Highway 56. These trees are just kind of fallen over. Many of them I spoke to say they've uh, lucked out and missed out on that severe damage. But uh, many of them were saying earlier that they've been stuck in their driveways because of those trees blocking and live wires from those down power lines uh, from that damage. They've been stuck in their homes for hours. I just spoke to a homeowner who just got to leave probably about five minutes ago. She says her and her granddaughter had to go downstairs in their basement to take cover when they heard the storm coming last night. Here's what she said. The trees was falling in the backyard. I heard the tree hit the garage, the tin garage, and I thought it was the roof. I thought, oh, the roof's coming off. I mean, we was scared to death. That's a reaction I've heard from many homeowners, lots of them just blessed and, and thankful that they're OK and again missed out on that damage. Now the crews here repairing these power lines on Highway 56 say they'll be wrapping up soon. Their plan was to get done before it gets dark out here. Now there are other damaged areas. They're, they're asking anyone out to just stay away from those so they can uh, quickly get those repaired and move on. Sheriff Clint Trump says they're meeting with emergency management crews right now to assess and figure out a plan on how to uh, manage the rest of the repairs. We're now live in Grundy County, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.